Hello. Hello, everybody. Hi. What's up, guys? Am I live? I can't see. I can't see. I just felt like doing a stream. I uh, wasn't going to do one, but, uh, you know, I just felt a little uh, like I missed the Bears. I just want to chat about my observations about uh, what's going on in the world and maybe make some suggestions. And I, it's going to sound weird, but uh, whatever. I'll just play it. Because of how people are reacting, like how stupid this all is, I had this little twinge like I wanted to drink. And I, and I really enjoy not drinking. And I wanted to just fire up the live stream and talk to my um, few thousand of my sponsors. <laughs> uh, I was talking to my mom today and uh, she was talking, she was telling me about how when I was a kid, oh, by the way, she, she's feeling the same stuff as me. She's 78. She has no idea why people are scared of the, this virus. Like it's, uh, and she's so above it now. I got her into quantum of conscious today. She goes, he's even more intense than you, <laughs> but, but really good. Um, she understands I'm like the best way to be is just be good vibes. You know, don't lecture people really try and just be there for people. But she's like, how can they think this? Fear junkies, yeah, but it's people that I once respected, man. And my mom was telling me when I was a little kid, I, I vaguely remember a little of this stuff, but uh, I used to be able to see Aris. I don't care anymore. I'll just tell people this stuff that I know the Gammas will make videos out of, and I don't care. Um, my mom listened to the pineal gland episode, and she goes, it's so great you finally understand what that is. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, you have a very, very active pineal gland. And she said, when I was a kid, I could see auras. I kind of remember being able to see colors around people. And I would have a very sensitive forehead. Like sometimes I'd be, that's why the song Comfortably Numb hits me so hard. When I was a child out of fever, my hands felt just like two balloons. Um, be aware, not afraid if you're only God. We get it. I'm, I'm actually talking like a normal person though. But thank you though. And um, I was also extremely sensitive to EMFs. Electromagnetic fields, extremely. And it would make th right there in my head hurt. Bang. And I could see different colors around people based on if they were sick. And then it slowly went away. Um, and now it's, it's not back, but it's, it's, they got me with alcohol. They, I got myself with alcohol and pornography and sex. And so for a while, it was very easy to handle because I would just numb myself. And now I'm an extreme empath, extreme. That's why when people call me um, sociopathic or psychotic or something or uh, mean, I can feel people's emotions to the point where I can almost see their history. Um, to the point where I used to, like openly, I would tell my mom, like, I see colors around people. And so I drank. And so today I felt like drinking again. And it's been really good not wanting to drink and being really, but to see people that I thought I respected just being like, we really need to, I'm so glad the government is doing something about, I'm just like, it's happening again. It's One of my friends during 9-11 on 2001, he had a, one of his family members fought in Vietnam. And, um, he said that when the buildings were falling, he started shaking and sweating and crying and just kept saying over and over again, it's happening again, it's happening again, it's happening again. And I, when you see the signs, and I, here's the thing though, and there's an optimistic side to all this. We, we have to envision and just talk about what life could be like and how good it can all be and how good life is and how great God is. Because these things can go, they can fail. But now that, I'm going to do a stream tomorrow all about all this stuff. But now that uh, Tom Hanks has Karenia, eh, one or two claws is okay. No, no, no. Not for me. I mean, I, I have a rule where I can, I can uh, drink something that I make with my neighbors when it's really low alcohol content, where it's almost like a kombucha type vibe. But no, I can't ever go down that road again. 
one or two becomes three or four. I was never a fall down drunk. I was never like actively trying to die or become a mean person, but I numb my head. I have a very, very active pineal gland. It, it, it gives me an extreme connection to source. Does that make sense? And it allows me to see a lot of things that help a lot of people and it brings people joy and I'm really good at piano, but it's fucking hard sometimes, man. It's really hard. There's always a way that they get you to numb it. And like right now, watching people I thought I respected degenerate into materialistic golems over absolutely nothing. I did a, a video today for YouTube and there's people right now, I'm sure, just going, hey, 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 bike owners, the NBA just canceled several NBA. I know, I know. You guys are crushing, man. There, there's so many of you guys. That's why I wanted to do a live stream, man. You, you mean the world to me, for real. It's like I did this uh, video on YouTube. And it's see, I always ask myself, do I know the people spiraling? And the answer is yes, I do, unfortunately. Uh, I never anymore go off assumed consensus. Jesus drank just a matter. I'm not saying you can't drink. Drink. I have an issue with it because it numbs my brain. If you want to push me to drink, I'll ban you to, for life, and I won't think twice about it because I have to be real protective of myself. Um. Yeah, I did a video challenging the internet to name one person they've ever known to die of coronavirus. People were like, wow, I'm in 200 in Italy. I go, so you don't know a name. I know thousands of people personally all over the world. No one knows anyone, not one name. Tell me a name. Don't give me a stat. Don't send me a grainy video. Don't send me your fear porn. Don't send me your stupid theories. Don't send, send me what you say, eh. a name. I can tell you two names of people that I know that have shot themselves uh, to death. People that I know, people that I've hung with, people that I've hugged. In the last four years, bang, that's how they died. Between me, mostly my friend Guck, but between me and Guck, we can name 16 people that have died from heroin or other despair-related opioids. Um, and I, I did this challenge to the internet where I was like, you're a coward. You know, I was getting, I, I'm glad I didn't do a stream earlier. I was in such a bad mood this morning, man. And I don't like spreading that. But I was like, name, I, hopefully this helps snap people out of it. And I know Jesus Christ said, let the dead bury the dead. And I'm seeing a lot of dead out there. Uh, and they're going to have to bury a lot of dead because there is death now. Because of the economy. We're losing 50% of the economy because of this. 50%. Oh, it's doomed to fail. It's all ones and zeros. No, no. Little kids are dying right now. I'm an empath. I want to drink. I can feel it. The desperate, the people you don't know, the people that, that you walk over on the sidewalk, they're dying right now, dying, death, thousands and thousands. When the economy tip, ticks down 1%, there's, I don't know, 10, 15,000 people die. And, you're, and so many people have numbed their brain, their pineal glands so intensely. Oh, we keep it closed until Jesus comes back. Now give me my pornos. Dude, I can't stand a lot of Christians. I can't stand a lot of conspiracy theorists. I can't stand a lot of these people, man. I, I'm starting to be like, who is your master? You know? And I'm trying hard to not become cynical and to laugh at these people as they run around canceling the NBA. And, oh, thank, thankfully, someone doing something. Even like the Kurgan. I'm going on social media. The Kurgan's like, this is, this is serious, guys. I'm like, I thought you were a warrior. I thought you were a warrior. These people all talk so tough, man. They all talk tough. They all talk all, oh, well, we'll stand out. You know, we serious. Name one. Name one person. You want me to name the people who have died of despair and fear that you're spreading right now? People that I've been at their funerals, held the hands of their mothers. People that have died because of wars started by nonsense and spells and lies. How many people do you know that have died of coronavirus? Well, two, uh, 200. Well, you just name a name. Bill, Frank, 
Don't tell me a guy named Dr. Wee Lying out of China. His name is Wee Lying. Name one name. This one guy out of Italy. Oh, it's just so, it's so bad over here. I mean, it's just, they're going to, the little kids, the kids will get the vaccines before we can get the. Hey, hey, uh, materialist, sadist, freak, coward. How about before you visualize you ripping the medicine from a child's hands, name me someone who's died from it. Well, I mean, I, I, if you turn on the pornos, give me a fucking name. See, that's my demon right there. You just saw it. I fucking hate cowards. The Kurgan should be ashamed of himself. I don't want to start beef. I don't give a fuck. Name me a name. Well, if they didn't close them, well, I mean, there could be that. Give me a fucking name. I'll name you people who died in war, suicide, heroin, despair, all the abortions, all the families broken. Give me a fucking name. I won't drink. Mock the devil. Who's behind you? Nobody. There's nobody behind me. What would you be, be having felt a sliver? No, it's not fear I'm feeling, though. It's, it's bad, man. It's like I don't want to lose connection to people where I look at them as cattle and animals. I hate it, dude. I hate it. I hate that shit. I hate feeling like that where these people that I thought were warriors, I'm just like, this is the war. This is the war. This is the battle. The battle isn't in your this imaginary, um, you know, Shoot him up in the... St- Dude, that's not happening. The battle is, will you give consent to monsters out of your own fear and selfishness? I'm seeing these photographs of these people who call themselves men. They call themselves fathers that I've met. I've shook their hands. My temperature is 99 degrees and they're wearing a mask. Give me one fucking name of a dead person. What you're doing kills people. I'll give you a fucking list and their wives and their kids. It seems like a test. Oh, it's it's a test and, and it's failing, man. But we gotta, we gotta with love see ourselves through it. We gotta see that it's not gonna be 9-11 again. It's not gonna be Vietnam again. It's not gonna be World War II again. It's not gonna be every 20 years these motherfuckers will scare the wicked, scare the materialists, scare the atheists, and they're just shitting their little pants over nothing. Oh, oh, North North Vietnam could could invade South Vietnam. Oh, oh, uh, Atta, right, with the passports and the fucking... Dude, we're watching it happen now. Now you can do something. In 20 years, don't be a truther trying to analyze why the fuck everyone fell for it. And I don't give a fuck if there's stuff that can be good about it with right-wing causes. I don't want global migration. I don't, dude, that's not how good works. It doesn't work with tricks and fucking scams and fear. That's just a way to subvert nationalism. It's a way to subvert good. You don't get to trick God. (sighs) Yeah, enjoying the show. Yeah, but man, my empathy, that's what I want to drink, man. There's people that, there's little kids that have died from this shit already. And it's because of the fucking economy. You don't need to tank the economy to thrive, guys. That's their world. It's all based on confidence and fear. It's a measure. Are you scared or are you crushing? Scared, crushing, bang! A bunch of little kids die. And they go back to God. It's all good. I'm not holding on to the material. All good. But it's like, that's some real shit. Don't don't root for the economy to collapse because you covet people's houses and shit. Oh, God. All right, I got to That's why I didn't do a fucking stream today. Man, I, I, I'm like going, I'm like looking at people I thought were strong. I thought I felt like I had a, I had people, you know, all these conspiracy theorists I thought were like, um, you know, sacrificing for the truth. And they're just these whimpering, these cowards. 
Fuck. There's not one name has, has come through here yet. What does Q stand for? Quarantine? Is that the plan? Well, I mean, we, that's how we get Hillary. That's how we get the goal boys. Really? You make it so my mom can't fly to see me in April? You make it so I can't have a show in my state with more than 250 people? That's how we beat the globalists? You fucking idiots! They use your, your, your the, the fact that people think they can outthink God in truth. They use that against you. So now I can only sell 249 tickets in the state of Washington because now it's illegal because 250 people mean more. 250 people have died today, little kids, because of the blowback of the fear. And people are going along with it. This isn't how you beat the globalists. This isn't how you beat fucking A, the death, the stench of it. Quarantine. Trust the plan, huh? It's not my plan. I want my mom to be able to visit me in April. She's old. And she's not scared. She just doesn't want to be on a train for five fucking days. In our own country. No, you're right. But the flip side is they're making a bluff and what we use our energy. Yes, I know there's a lot of good that'll come from this and we can talk about it. I'll stop spiraling. But good God, am I fucking disappointed in men. This is how we beat that. No, it isn't. This is how you give up even more of your God-given rights. How many people actually believe in God? I'll be, we have to trick and scam and, and with the fear we'll have a good outcome. Fuck you. Fear kills right now. You don't think there's people not having kids because of this shit? Same here, BB? Yeah, it's all good. They're doubling down. Are we dark enough? Yeah, exactly. They're, they're, just, they're just waiting for the lever. To de- the, are they so blackened? Are they so without a soul that we can actually... Un- cha-ching! One more. Just in that. Cha-ching! One, oh, cha-ching! Dude, America still has a heart. Still has a soul. Yeah, God's the only plan. Fuck Q. If it stands for quarantine, I'm just going to laugh. Trust the plan, yeah, of, of a letter on Twitter. And I don't give a fuck who's mad at me. Who I don't care. I'm, I'm so sick of, of cowards. I got a homestead. I make a fine living. I bring a lot of quality to people's lives. It's not going anywhere. I have no fear. It's like I've, I'm, I'm fired up because I hate watching the dead bury the dead when I think they might have a pulse. I don't need shit from any of that shit. Me and my family could just stay here for months and just eat and crush. People just send me money in the mail. Because I I don't make them want to die. Do you think I give a flying fuck about the economy or the plan or any? Dude, I care about my family. I care about truth. Truth the plan. There's going to be mass roundups and mass arrests. Are you sure it's not going to be... Just mass roundups, shutting down your kid's graduation, shutting down the Olympics, shutting down. Imagine being a 15 year old who worked their whole life to compete in the Olympics and just cheating. How many na- name a name, name a death. Is that fair to those dudes, those kids? But we have to shut down. Why don't it shuts down gold migration? Uh, uh, not getting in debt. That's it. That's it. It's our fucking debt. You can't trick it. It's about morality. And judging by the fucking response from most men I'm watching now, there's not a lot out there. Your fear shows me exactly who your master is. All right. More people died in the gay rollerblading incident than from the Corona effect. I don't know. I wouldn't go that far. I think 24 have died from Corona and they were all either on chemo or like a thousand years old. I think nine gay guys died in the rollerblading incident. 
Trust the plan. Okay, so when I'm quarantined, my state made it illegal. They just did this. The, the state of Washington, so, so it's, it's not a nationalist plan, guys. The globalists that run my state of Washington just made it illegal to gather, gather with more than 250 people. I'm an American. You don't tell that to an American. This is infuriating. And the men that call themselves men, they're not men, they're babies. They're fucking babies that sit back and go, well, then we won't get coronavirus and die. What about if you want to gather 260 people? You're going to let a leftist fucking bureaucrat tell you no? See why I want to drink tonight? And yeah, it'll, it'll backfire. It's not about them. It's about us. It's about seeing people with my own eyes at the fucking grocery store with little wipes with their carts. Blatantly against the First Amendment. You're New England Bear, you're not understanding. There is no First Amendment. There's no amendments. It's you and God, you and God. That's it. We hold these truths to be self-evident. It means that it's, it's subjective. Self. See why I want to fucking close down my pineal gland? There's no one to shoot. There's no one to fight. It's about, it's about do you believe it? God, God, guys, God is real. Stop fucking LARPing, you little churchy and bitches. God is very real. You just believing it consents to it. You understand that? It's not about who to shoot or who to trick or what little button you vote for. It's, it's do you believe it? Do you believe it? Because they know how to do this shit. They know how to do a global spell on the world like 9-11, coronavirus, Vietnam, World War II, uh, World War I, the Federal Reserve, all that shit. Civil War. Like these are fucking spells. Do you believe it? Are you scared? Name one person who's died of it. Not someone you saw, not a statistic, not someone you saw on the news. Name one goddamn name. Oh, don't say goddamn. Sorry, I gotta go. I gotta put my mask on. I got a fucking 99 degree. You don't believe in God if you feel that way. I'm just telling you straight up. You don't, you don't really. You're holding on to your material little fancy fucking pants. But make sure I have a pregnant wife and two kids under four. I have a 78 year old mother that I love very much. None of us are scared. Why? Why is that? Why the fuck aren't we scared? Hmm. Maybe because it's not real. You're scaring me. Okay. You're banned for life then. It's no problem. I have no problem with that. <laughs> it's this or drinking. I just don't want to feel alone right now. Because we aren't gay, yeah. And I'll, I'll read you some funny shit. Let's, start, let's talk about the good stuff. It's just the fact that people thought that banning groups of... Guys, that's communism 101. You know that, right? You right-wing retards. You dumb fucking retards that pretend to, you right-wing LARPers. That's communism 101 to ban groups of people. That's communism 101. No, no. You forgot that part? All right. Quarantine. Q. All these cowards begging the government they despise to say that. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, Stefan Molyneux is a puddle of cum. Stefan Molyneux should just take a nap in the puddle of his own cum. And just go, <clears throat> I got a funny leukemia story for you, though. The, the government. The government. The go eh, really? So I, I made that challenge. And um, 
Someone said, 200 people died in one day in Italy. I said, uh, oh, so names? No. Hard time following directions. Watching too many porn apps. I'll just tell you the funny ones. Someone said, well, Tom Hanks just came out that he has it. So fingers crossed there, he might be our first celebrity death. <laughs> Someone said, my Aunt Jean had zero health conditions, died after getting a flu shot, felt sick and didn't wake up the next morning. I'm positive the cure they come up with for coronavirus will be far worse than the virus itself. That's a fact. Knew a kid who was paralyzed from the swine flu vaccine. I only know people who died from alcohol and heart attacks in my family. Self-quarantine is just code for a really long whack-a-mole session. This one guy writes, I'm Carthage about it. I wouldn't want my mother or grandmother to get it because of me and the two-week incubation time that these, uh, especially with my grandmother, I don't give my coworkers a handshake. So I wrote, oh, so no names then. Thanks. Stop watching pornos. My Uncle Gary died back in 87 from Corona. He didn't actually die from the corona per se, but he, it, it did give him AIDS. Side effect of what he later succumbed to. Rest in peace, Gary. It's really funny. Someone says, bit of a logical fallacy right there, Big Bear. An Iran minister died. I wrote, did you know him, Little Mouse? I'm Big Bear. He's Little Mouse. It's not a logic fallacy to make a request that you can't fulfill. That's called a point. And then someone underneath said, Boom, hammer dropped, and no one will miss you. No one cares. Classic Big B. Thank you, Owen. So people are getting it. It's just like, <sighs> fucking A. Please don't. Lord, give us the strength to, to not allow this to be another 9-11. The wicked are upon us. They want us to fear that which is not you more than you. Give us the strength to beat it. Amen. Oh, I went to like name one fucking person who's died of the thing that people talk about all the time now. None? Would you like me to give you my list again? Of all the death and despair and destruction I've witnessed in my life? We need to pray a lot. We need to ask God for strength to serve him. The wicked are upon us, and they're pulling levers. They're pulling big levers. They want to degrade us again, just like they did in 9-11, just like they did in Vietnam, just like they did in World War II, just like they did in World War II. It's the same spell every time. Who is your master? Who do you fear? That's it. And can you smile through it? Can you crush? Can you laugh? Can you be grateful? That's why right now I got a little of a demon in me, man. I know it. The only way through it is to be completely honest about it. I have a demon of wrath. I loathe cowards. I see my dead friends. I I smell death. I know what the families go through. I know the, I know the, the tears. I know the pain, I know the isolation, the alcohol, the heroin. (sighs) And it's like, out of all of that, the fucking coronavirus. How many do you know that have died? None? You're just gripping onto your material like a fucking life raft in a sea of pornos. And I, you have no value. This this is what I want to stay away from. It's like... Grandpa Jack, my mom. Grandpa Jack's 84 my mom is 78. They're two of the most valuable people in my life. They're old. Because they have wisdom and they don't have fear. Okay, there's a lot of people that are getting up there, getting along long in the tooth, that offer nothing to the young. They consume medical resources, their 401ks, their, their pensions, their Buicks, their little fancy pants. They, they talk down to us. They I love their classic rock station. And I, back in my day, they have no knowledge, no wisdom, no skills. All they have is condemnation, ignorance, retardation, fear. They give us no peace. As a man, you have to give peace and strength to your family and community. 
Fear is the worst. I'm glad my demon is a little, um, a little more admirable, even though it still sucks to just rant about cowards. Fear, if you show that in front of your family, like what kind of motherfucker are you? Dude, the, death, the, the bodies are piling up, man. It's not coronavirus, it's the crashed economy. 50% of the world's, I don't care if it's fake wealth, just went up in flames. There's a lot of vulnerable fucking people that need that spell. BB, do you think there's a good way to get more boomers? I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm just, the coronavirus is a problem for me because with moon landing and 9-11 and all that, it's like there's so much emotion and so much trust. and I can't forgive people for being scared now very well. I'm trying. When people say, ah, it's better to just not go to a, a Home Depot today. You know, you probably shouldn't. Ch- How many people have died? Well, I mean, a lot. In the incubation pit, name one. Name, name one fucking person who had a mom. I'll name people who had moms that are dead. From what you're doing, you useless little bitch. You consumer, you mouth. You baby boomer that just would be better off just whisked away like a soothing breeze. Just, just ash. Just whoo. See, I don't want to feel that way about my fellow man, man. That's the problem. 30 out of 325 million. And that's, it's still people that had weakened immune systems. You don't even know what killed them. It's called, it's Masa. One death is a tragedy. A million is a statistic. You know, I said that's Stalin. You know why? He was basically telling you that statistics are lies. Could it be targeted attack to wipe out 6 million more? I don't know, man. I'm just not, it's kind of like, you know, that apathy you feel with the fucking, uh, Antifa and stuff. I'm starting to feel that about people that I, 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 dude, I got to I gotta, like picture yourself hugging somebody, you know, shaking someone's hand, singing with somebody, do the opposite of what they want us to do. The devil with his minions fact. And dude, I will not be judged tonight. How's that sound? I'm, I'm not, I'm staying sober. I'm not. It's so much fucking crazier to be scared about something that has a death count of no one anyone's ever known or met. I can't believe these are men. But, but I mean, it could. I mean, the media has told me, and we all know. Dude, a week ago, you said the media was the enemy of the people. But, <coughs> but I'm beating off. Ugh. All right, so imagine yourself hugging people, hugging, smiling. Imagine yourself in a group of people where people are hugging and smiling. I'm serious. You got to do the opposite of what they want us to do because they're degrading us right now. Like right now, as we speak, the grabble is on. And I thought the the ungrabbling is happening, but like, dude, people applaud this. The problem is abortion, global warming, that shit. That's all left, left wing nonsense. But this one's hitting right wing people. And I just can't fucking stand being around them. It would be, that's why I left Hollywood, guys. How could you be around someone that's like, the biggest threat is global warming. I'm so glad I got an abortion. Women's rights. Dude, that global warming literally has a better argument than coronavirus. Well, you'll be sorry. and Dude, people have been saying that for weeks now. Remember, like, two weeks ago when I was saying the same shit? But it has an incubation period of 12 days. And, they, dude, in two months, the same fucking people will be scared. Or they'll think, thank God they quarantined me and my mom died without me fucking being able to hang out with her. Man, the government really saved my ass from nothing, from invisible. We, we, and if we don't give all our money and power to Bernie Sanders, we're all going to burn to death with global warming. If we don't trust the Q plan and allow them to staple us into a fucking building, we're all going to die of the sniffles. You fucking idiots. Ah, wrath demon, wrath demon. Wrath demon, go away. I'm grateful to God. Oh, that's just crazy. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not the crazy one, guys. And so I want to just kind of fire up the live stream and... um. 
you know, talk to you guys about how you guys deal with being not, you know, being aware in this fucking world. Today's my one year anniversary of no booze. Yes. Love it. Hug, hug someone you love. You're trying to make us beg for it. I know, I know. I, I, dude, the, the, here's the craziest part, guys. Won't affect me one bit. This whole fucking thing. I hate, I hate thinking about the dead burying the dead when they're not dead yet. Guys, I'm, I basically live in a self-inflicted quarantine. <laughs> my income is so, my income is so value based that there's no grabble. There's no way to grabble it. I literally people just send me money in a PO box and subscribe to like my website. Like you can't grabble that which people truly value. It's like my family's healthy. Everybody's, I just, it's, it might be a weakness, man. That's why I want to talk to you guys about this. It's like, should I stop giving a fuck about people? You know, I talked about this in the beginning. Like my pineal gland literally is overactive. My mom was telling me about that. I used to see auras as a kid and I had sensitivity on my forehead and I could like literally see auras, guys. And then I closed it up with booze, porn, and sex. And now it's open. <laughs> I, yeah, Ryan's, dude, Ryan's my guy, dude. I got great neighbors. I just don't want it to fucking happen again. But it, it's all God's plan, you know? It's all God's plan. God, God is, dude, I just, I can't be attached to people. I can't be attached to, like, seeing people that I like. And I've hung with, and I've talked about truth with, and I've like bonded with, post pictures on their social media in a goddamn medical mask because they have a 99 degree fever. I, do you have, do you have kids? Like, what do you do when there's the devil is at the door? Do you just, you just shit those pants? Who cleans the shit out of your pants? It's all, I got to get to the next level of uh, spiritual awakening. Because I'm still trapped a little bit in like, why won't people see it? I have to get to the level of like, it's all good. And that's why I want to talk to you guys because good God, do I want to drink tonight. Just to not feel it. It's like, oh, you drinking problem? No, my drinking problem was never abuse or driving cars or it was just numb. It, and dude, I just want to be numb right now. I just want to be numb. I just want the fucking cowards to shut up. And they won't shut up. I'm not on social media. I don't watch the news. I just little, just seeing that motherfucker at Fred Meyer today, pushing a shopping cart with his little wipes. He was a baby boomer. Very precious boy. And he couldn't touch the, and meanwhile, you got a pregnant woman, a giant bear, two little kids playing and crushing. And he's just not, not for that special boy. You know, he couldn't touch I just want to be like, we don't need you here anymore. Quantum of Consciousness is a good... Oh, dude. Quantum of Consciousness's video today was one of his masterpieces. That's why I want to... I, I, maybe I shouldn't have fired up the live stream. Is this too intense? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Fuck it. I wanted to take his lead on... These minions of the system, they know something. Not, I'm not talking about Alan Degenerate and shit like that. I'm talking about, I'm not even talking about like Al Gore. There's minions involved in this that understand how the reality works here. And you can, because they don't kill us because they don't want us dead. They want us sick and scared. And it's like, no, yeah, but Matt went through a little bit of a dark phase, but I, 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 was, I was rooting for him and he's, Fucking, I even commented on his video. I said, dude, this is a masterpiece. You're telling people what to do and how to fight it, not just what's wrong with it. I do it in the, in the quote unquote truth community. Him, Crow can be a curmudgeon, but that guy is fucking awesome. And also uh, Pockets of the Future. They're the only people that are giving anyone any tools. You know, it's like Fox gives people tools. And I, no offense about the Q thing. I mean, I know Vox likes Q. I really love Vox. It's all good. He doesn't give a shit what I think. I just, um, I just, the, if Q stands for quarantine, I, I, whatever. But you must believe. No, I don't. 
why don't we should believe in like really, really what, what the controllers know that we don't know. Every time there's one of these fucking astrological things, I don't know how that's connected or what happens with it. But the last time this happened, by the way, was 9-11, 2001. Okay. So they obviously believe this and what, and it works so well for evil. How can we make it the other way, right? So there clearly is some sort of rip in the fabric around this time. Every, say, 20 years, and the horror is relived. Um, now 311 is <laughs> so funny. They make everyone envision. They need our consciousness. They need our imagination. They do. It, logically, this is how they're acting. So... The best is to not give a fuck and just crush, but I'm in a position where I talk to thousands of people a day, so this is kind of what I do. Is I, people come here, people go to a construction worker to build something, come here for hear me analyze what's happening around here. So evil is very desperate, right? But it, it's pray, yes, I know, that's obvious. I, I, I said, a, I never pray on streams, I find it very performative. I, I said a sincere prayer this stream. I get it. I, I appreciate you. But it's like we have to picture something good. You know, we have to like, and I'm not talking about like the secret and fucking manifesting. We have to literally, that's why I think they're making it so people can't be together. People can't do things in unison. People can't cheer and root. I, I think they're trying to cancel the Olympics because the Olympics is full of form and beauty and purpose. I don't give a shit about the five rings and the Greek and the Illuminati and the Mount Olympus. I don't care. When you watch someone do something hard and beautiful, it, it inspires, right? And so right as, as humanity is starting to get out of the 90s, this like Nirvana bullshit, yeah, bang, right? And all the programming and all the grooming and all the... And they're doing it, man. Tom Hanks getting coronavirus and posting a picture of an empty fucking glove. Yeah, they don't want us sharing notes. Right, that's one reason why they, they, and steroids. That's a good point, Ryan. <clears throat> Way to bring it home with that one. But like, it's fucking working in their favor right now. So how do we uh, flip it around? I, I'll just read what you guys are saying. I'm not afraid, Owen, when I want to picture something good, I picture the cherry tree on your farm. That's beautiful, I love that. Who's Tom Hanks? Kung Fu Bear is on the next level. Commies want to destroy... The love of sports to a nation. Yes. That's why the NBA is canceled. That's why I don't think this is a right-wing thing. I love Vox to death. He's incredibly smart, moral, not a fearful man. Love him. I, I just, I, I do disagree with his point. And I probably shouldn't have even said that out loud. I don't, it's all good. He doesn't care. But NBA canceled. Olympics trying to be canceled. It's, they're trying to cancel beautiful things. In my opinion, Vox could be right. If he is, great. Would love that. But judging by the fear of a bunch of nationalists I'm seeing, I don't, I'm, I'm not holding my breath. Hey, love. What's up? Oh, cool. You want to say hi to the people in a minute? Great time to find a good woman who aren't scared of hugging. Yes. See, this is what we should picture, right? And not only picture it, it's very possible. What if this quarantine leads to a baby boom? God, did I jinx it by just saying baby boomer? All these people home having kids. Boom. Hanks posted the gloves from the same place, the cappy guy. That it, it doesn't matter. That those are all just, they want us scared in any way we can. Sports are fit, false idols. Fuck them. Olympics aren't. There's something about the Olympics that are that is very beautiful. When you're like nation brings home a gold because someone's really fast. I'm telling you, everything isn't. Um... Yeah, we should organize 251 people made by Jim Bob. Should we do a show in the state of Washington where it's, two, it's called 251? I'm in. Anybody in Washington want to do that and you have a venue? You got to have the venue, though. I'm not dealing with all that bullshit. I'll do a show in the state of Washington. We'll call it 251, and we sell 251 tickets. I love that. Made by Jim Bob. It's a genius idea. That's a genius idea made by Jim Bob. So uh, why didn't they laugh at gmail.com 
If you own a venue, don't tell me about a venue you just know exists. If you, if, no, it has to be in Washington. It has to be, we have to do something that is just not what they want. Fahrenheit 251, genius. I'll drive up, no, but it can't, it, 251, so it can't be that big. Uh, 252. No, 251. It has to be, it has to mean that we can't, we can obviously fudge it a little bit. Uh, Olympics ruined by trans movement. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. Lady Q and I'm I know you're spiraling about my Q ranting. I don't care. You, you can, you, you're fine. Everyone who likes Q is just fine. I did not, I did not attack God. you if, if Q is your God, I don't care. Perfect multiple shows a day. BB um, crushing me. I think it's a great idea because it's like uh, agenda 251. Oh, Two, uh, dude, the 251 Bacardi 251, right? Agenda 251. In King Pierce or Sonomish counties. Thank you, Rye. Yes. I'm talking, guys, I'm talking a giant barn. Dude, I use a brake drum and a rim as a semi for a fire pit. Nice. Um, 250, uh, I, agenda 251 is hysterical. Um, that'd be great. I I would, I'll absolutely do that. We have to do something that just isn't what they're saying to do. And I don't even feel like doing a show right now, but I'm, I'm in. Agenda 251. I don't know who set up. It's genius. Giant Barn venue, let's go. Yeah, yeah. So why didn't they laugh at gmail.com? Giant Barn, we're selling 251 tickets. And um, that's it. I, won't, I'm, I might not even have a, a mic. I might not even do stand-up. I might just say hi and we'll all just eat and hang out. Are those your approved comedy glasses? I don't even want to hear about it. Dude, there's not a big selection anymore. There's monopolies on it. I like Agenda 251 better. Yeah, Agenda 251 is better than Fahrenheit 251. Even though Fahrenheit 251 is, sm- is funny. I think saying that someone is a 451 degree Freemason is extremely funny. Sorry for ranting earlier. It doesn't do anything good for anybody. I, I've realized that. I, I was being a little indulgent. I just really wanted to... Um, uh, I, I just was feeling very alone. <laughs> so again, um, yelling wrath. It's my fucking. It's uh. It's not the best for me. But um, I'm not spiraling at all. I'm used to Q hatred. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's all about how you feel. All right. I just uh, your rant. Um, your rants are perfectly okay. Thank you. Venting. Yeah, but I, I, it's another ticket. Down the line, there's tickets involved. But I just, uh, the best thing to do for someone like me right now, and listen, if I was just working in, in like plumbing or something, I could just do that. My job is literally to analyze the world and make it funny, guys. My job is to fire up a live stream and talk for hours about whatever I think. So this shit is going to happen. I can't just tap out and pretend I'm really interested in fucking Tom Hanks. I uh, love to BB made me know I wasn't alone. Right, right, right. So maybe there's something good from it. Because it's like the, the fucking cancer, man. It's about isolation. I was isolated a lot as a kid. Um, I've chosen a very isolated life. Uh, but isolation is uh, not great. Hey, love. You want to come on and say Hi. Fuck Trump for tossing a power. I just don't like that it's like this is a global threat. I was loving how Trump is responding, but I don't care. I don't care. So it doesn't matter. So we're thinking about, you want to have a seat? Amy's coming to hang out. I, I got my, my turn my mood around. Good. Yeah, Damn me, everybody. <laughs> you look beautiful. All right, so we're thinking about, you know, the 250 people thing? Mm-hmm. Do a show called Agenda 251. I heard it. What do you think? 
I'm, I'm on the fence. What do you think? Are you going to go to jail for that? No. If, if that's on the line, I'm totally not for it. But if it's not, then that's a great idea. Yeah. There's no way he's going to jail. Thank God. It would just be funny. It's just like it's just like showing that you can do it. Yeah. I think no, it's, it's ridiculous. You're not scared of it. Right. And, it, and it's just like, it's funny. If, I mean, if, would you be real upset if I went to jail? Yes. Yeah, that's a good point. you would be too. That's a good point. Do you guys have any... Um, Questions for Amy. Tearing down walls is the best. Well, it's got to be like uh, in a funny way, though. It can't be like, but she's she's right about the whole like. It can't be like destructive. It'd be two fifty, but one guy. Uh, hang on, what, what did made by Jim Bob say? Um, what made what made by Jim Bob just sneak in there? Now the cops love on. That is true, but whatever. Let's just talk about something else. <laughs> Um, I know I'm not allowed to get a uh, uh, ostrich either. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> our, um, we would all be upset. Yeah, I'll go to jail to fly me. <laughs> then 249. I don't know. You're right. When you have like a very pregnant wife, maybe I shouldn't just poke the eye of the beast. But it, it's so funny though. I mean, what if it's called the 251 barbecue? That's very funny. Yeah, what if we just have a barbecue? It's called a Jenna 251 barbecue. Yeah. It's not even a show, because cause we it would still make the point. It's just the growlers get really freaked out by really strong men with microphones. Yeah, a barbecue would be perfect. A 251 barbecue. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Because then it's like, oh, they arrested these, this guy for barbecuing? I'd feel bad for like the 252nd person that wanted to come, though, and got denied. Well, they should have gotten tickets faster. <laughs> Um, how about twelve fifty, one thousand two hundred fifty? No, it's got to. It's the only point is a statement. Yeah, the barbecue is the move. What if it was a rollerblading event? Um, how are you feeling about everything? What's your thoughts? I think people are freaking out, and it's. I mean, it's just obvious. That it's making a bigger deal. The the freak out is causing more damage than the virus itself. But yeah. I'm I'm always just really cautious in flu and cold season because I hate getting a cold or anything. So I've always just like, if I see kids sniffling at any of the classes we go to, I'm just like, yeah, maybe next week we don't go. <laughs> like, right, right. I don't know. So I've always just like held back on big group activities with little kids, especially because it's just usually germ central, and I have to weigh if it's worth us getting to hang to like be sick the next week. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But other than that, like. That, I, that's I'm, understandable, though. I'm very unaffected by it. Yeah. Yeah, I got to stop thinking about, like, economies and shit. I'm very cold. All right, I love you, baby. Sorry. I just, uh, I'll be inside very soon. All right, bye. All right, cool. Bye, love. I won't do anything that puts me at risk of going to jail. I don't think you would. All right. I know you like to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> me and my friends are playing 251. <laughs> Um, 250, 251 is, uh, 250 meter, 251. It's got, it's dude, barbecue though. Grabbers get freaked out by microphones. Amy or the salt and so why? Yeah, she is. Now, her opinion is exactly how people should feel about just normal mom stuff. It's the freaking economic panic. I really went hard in the beginning. Hey, listen, the Kurgan's fine. He's fine. He thinks we went to the moon. It's fine. Just come on. Are we really going to just be scared all the time? All right. What do you guys want to talk about? You two are balanced? Yeah, we're very, we're very balanced. I'm her live wire, and she grounds me. I'm the dreamer. She's the buzzkill. I, I didn't mean that. Um, what did Amy think of the fireplace running? She loved them. She thought they were beautiful. We can't afford it right now, though, but I, I do appreciate it. We're going to keep them in our back pocket. That's the passion of the Logos BB. It's got to be done sometime. Crushing on 251 barbecue. Let's do the party start. Yes, I think that we do barbecue 250. Because we have to do something. It can't just be bitch. I can't just, like, bitch. I, that, that's the thing. I can't just yell. I used to do that a lot more than I do now. Um, but, I don't know. Kurgan's a pussy. I'll say it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed by it. Hey, you guys should take this virus really seriously. How many deaths, Kurgan? 
I mean, there's uh, we go to the moon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, we went to the moon. What's the moon? Uh, I, I just don't like drama. But I just I, that just pissed me off. Fucking a. Cat Kirk and, I, and he's he's talked a lot of shit about me about the moon or anything, so I don't care. Can barbecue says uh, says every man here. Yeah, shows the connection to um, man. Shows the connection to rage and booze. I have it too. Yes, I'm very glad I don't drink. But for me, it wasn't drinking. Didn't make me angry. It made me numb. Kurgan thinks the moon shit is real. Right now, it's well, and he's the one who openly and publicly called me out on it. I like him, but I mean, at this point, you have to be fucking retarded to think anyone landed a, a rocket ship on a moon. Uh. Like literally, a, like a retard, like like a donkey kicked you in your forehead. All right, any questions before I go? Love the barbecue idea. Me too. Can't have a barbecue without a cue. It's a very good point. Again, I'm not ang. Oh, God, cue is such a fucking pain in the ass. I I know people are gonna be like, dude, it's the greatest. The white hats, uh, like this Millie Vanilli or whatever her name is, the one who works for uh, Alex Jones. Uh, what's her name? Millie Vanilli. And wait till you hear this shit. So Alex Jones issued a statement on DWI arrest. Millie Weaver, a Jew, says, Dear Deep State, if you think you're going to set up Alex Jones, have people follow him and have informants, um, assisting, throw them under the bus. Just know this isn't our first rodeo and watch out. The white hats are watching you. I have a pretty strong suspicion that Jones was on a lot of drugs when that went down. That wasn't a deep state operation, guys. That, that, Alex Jones is an absolute train wreck of a drunk and a drug user. These sick people can just think everybody's against it. Like the, it's always the deep state. The deep state, I'm wagging off. It's the deep state. Oh, my, uh. Millie Vanilli is like, watch the white hats. What's the, no, it's the small hats. The small hats. Who are these white hats you speak of? I haven't seen any. You don't know the plan? No. No one's in, I know a bunch of nonsense, but I think this is my opinion on Q. I think at one point it was real and now it's not. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I think it's a brand and at one point it was real and it was like a group of people and now it's just like, I don't know if they're all dead or whatever, but it's just, it's starting to get fucking stupid. Did he OD on his boner bills? No. And now he's blaming the deep state. He's like, I have point, point seven, eight, not point eight. It's like, okay, so you were drinking and driving. And that was like hours later. I, he has a team of lawyers. He's a, he's a fucking junkie, man. Allegedly. Very allegedly. The FBI is 98% corrupt to the court. Why? What is? What? No, it isn't. Dude. Maybe I should never have left Hollywood. <laughs> Dude, so many conspiracy theorists are such retards. Like, it never really dawned on me just how dumb a lot of them are. They're like, don't you know? Don't you know that everyone's after Alex Jones? Why was after Alex Jones? His his uh, his uh, his appetites. He's a junkie, guys. He's a drunk. He's a horrible dad and husband. He drove his car drunk, and now people are defending him because they think there's the deep states after him because of the fact he he won't even criticize Israel, guys. He's uh he's a mess. Um, I. Who aren't you allowed to talk about? Dude, it's, it's, it's insane. It's like, I thought the, the conspiracy theorists were the ones that were like the good guys. And now I'm just like, wait, what, what do you think? They're like, everybody's after Jones because he tells the truth. I'm like, and then I'll tell them reality. And they're like, what do you know? I'm like, and someone said FBI did Ruby Ridge and Waco. Wow, real hot take there. How many FBI uh, agents do you know?
How, how many do you know personally in your life? Not that you've seen on the screens. The coronavirus is, is worse than people think. And the FBI is just constantly, 98% of them. How many do you know personally? How, how, how many names do you know that are in the FBI? Well, there's, of course, Gary and Frederick. Gary Fredericton? Gary Fredericton. Uh, you know, the my, my pornos. Jones is owned by Time Warner. Dude, it's so dumb. He has a giant, giant studio. Giant. Giant. Like, huge cameras and shit. I'm like, I've done his show like 10 times. I'll tell you he's a junkie, in my opinion, and a drunk, and a mess, and a wretch. And he's playing the victim card all the time. Well, yeah, I got caught with the tranny porn on my, on my phone, but it's because the deep state's uh, making me whack off. And... Ted Gunderson, do you know him personally? Guys, there's thousands of people here right now. How many can you name personally? Well, of course, I mean, there's, th there's uh, Gary Corruptman. Okay. So you're saying Sandy Hook was real? No, Sandy Hook was fake. FBI were part of it. Some of the people. A small percentage. Can't confirm. I've been to InfoWars studios. He's, he's massively funded. Massively. And pe just it's just like being in a fucking insane asylum sometimes. Do you think Jones started off with good intentions? No. He's been a narcissist his whole life. He's funded by the same people who do moon landings and cure. <laughs> he's, um... He's a, he's a narcissist. I don't even know if he knows what he's doing. He's like, yeah, the deep state's making me wag on. Without my fear, how can I jerk off? All those government guys are lazy gammas. It's a way better way of, of describing it. Lazy gammas. Lazy gammas. Or just guys who are clocking in and out, trying to do their job. Is there corruption in the FBI? Obviously. Uh, at the very top, it's by far the most corrupt, you can imagine. But most of them aren't. That's not how corruption or evil works if you're not retarded. You know, if it was just all corrupt, like it was just corrupt, it wouldn't exist. Because it would just implode. Do you understand how parasites work? You have to infect something that operates. But no one, no one cares. Sam Tripoli is the next Alex. No, he'll be dead of AIDS, even though AIDS doesn't even exist. Bill Cooper saw through Jones a long time ago. Yeah, Cooper was a OG. He was legit. Don't beat yourself off over it. Exactly. He's got the damn globe spinning like all the rest. Fear is thrilling for Gammas. Yes. They love it. They love fear because they, they think that the secret can't. They love fear that isn't real. Gammas love fake fear. They don't like real fear of confrontation. They like being behind their computer, scaring themselves about the coronavirus, and then jerking off. That's, that's their, they, they would never confront a lion or something. They would never actually do anything heroic. They like to be scared from the horror porn, and then they beat off to the p sex porn. And then they just go back and forth. That's why you can always tell who's beaten off to pornos is how scared they are. Because it's a cycle. You understand? That's why this is so illuminating to me. It's like, I'm just watching men just basically say, have you heard about the coronavirus? I beat off about four times a week to runaways. Gammas love drama. They need drama or they can't whack off. It's, it's a basic cycle. They're like, e -e 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 -e. dude, it's like, I, 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 the world can be so loud with all the beating off. Can you really go for some piano right now? You're in a timeout, Lady Q and on Bear. Why don't you think about it? Don't ever tell me what to do again. I'm outside of the fire. Your name is Lady Q and on Bear. Like, you're already pushing it. Oh, so you're against... You, you like the deep state? Dude, you don't even know what a deep state is. How many people in white hats have you ever met? <laughs> Who's the virus killed? Name one person. Dude, but you don't know about the documents and the 
Corey Feldman's gonna name names and there's fucking Isaac Cappy and there, I just, my fucking pornos and. Make her version 3.0. Yeah, when she comes back, I'm probably just gonna ban her again. She needs uh, to become three. It's, just, it's gonna be funny, like 10 years, she's gonna be Lady QAnon 500.0. <laughs> Uh, yes, he did. Hang on. Yes, he did. She'll confirm. I don't know who you're talking about. My mom is the only person I know in a white hat because I bought her a white hat. Right. Kung Fu Bear has been a part of like, he's gotten out of some real satanic shit in his life. The stuff that a lot of these gammas only whack off to. And um, he'll tell you, dude, he knows about satanic Hollywood. It's like. It's, it's not this LARP to get you to beat off. Lady QAnon 251. Kung Fu Bear. Um, we need a Lady QAnon 17.0. <laughs> 17 for Q. Q, it's just, dude, it's, it's basically taking your pineal gland and making you see patterns that don't exist. We're saving Israel for last. Yeah? You want to bet? We're saving Israel. Dude, it's just, it's so gamma. And you want to know how I know? Because the fear of it. Oh, the fear. So many of the people that are so in a queue are so scared all the time. It's just like, my, my arm is aching from the beating off. And... All right, I'll do about 15 more minutes. Blink 182. Interesting. I can't fucking believe that they banned gatherings of 250 or more. And I and there's people in my life that I've respected that thought it was a good idea. It's just, but I mean, how are we supposed to not get the coronavirus? My wife's opinion is so true. It's just like, if people have the sniffles, stay away from those people. But it's like, you want the state to regulate how many people are allowed to get together like we're a bunch of fucking Euro trash? We're Americans. Europe is retarded. It's like they, they just do whatever the state tells them. It's crazy. It's like it's, Americans, I can't fucking believe that Americans are just like, yeah, I mean, the state, the state, really. We're frontiersmen. It's. Oh, and you were revealing so much. Oh, thank you. Q is a pacification sign. It's, it's, a, it's a gamma beating off. It's not even about pacification. It's like someone, it's a gamma male writing a script, jerking off. That's all people. Dude, this entire spiral is all pushed by dudes beating off. Oh, and you don't, it's faith-based hope porno, like the moon landing for internet <laughs> Hope porn, very interesting. Great call. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Q is just one of the editors from GQ, right? Hope porn. PBI I just switched to natural soap. Good for you. Europe is retarded and cucked. It's so cucked, it's insane. It's as if there was two giant wars to kill off all their strong people. Hmm. Hmm. I'm almost to the bottom of this, but if I don't have a random letter whispering nonsense into my social media, I can't quite figure out how Europe lost all their strong men. Hang on. Wait a minute. It's almost there. It's a... America shouldn't be like this. It's... Sounds more like number magic. 250 is not quite 300. It does... Dude. Dude, it's, it's control. Stop thinking like them. It's, it's okay to understand their language. It's okay to understand numerology and all this spell. It's like, wow, I did. Your problem with it is just, no, I'm not going to do that shit. How they plan on enforcing that? They don't. Right. They need you to do it to yourself with your mind. The way they control us is our consciousness. That's why I got so pissed off when people are like, well, I mean, if the government doesn't limit our ability to have free assembly, how are we supposed to wax the pornos? Ugh. Dude, churches are closing. I mean, it's no surprise. Why do I why do I even not think that would be the case? Why wouldn't I? Q is quarantine of your mind. I mean, the fact Trump was like, this is our, 
you know, I got to suspend flights from Europe for the next 30 days. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, it was really fun when he was just crushing like a minute ago. And if he does again, I'll be back into it. I'm, I don't, I'm not a, dude, I'm, the reason I'm a little emotional tonight and a little off my game is, uh, is because of people in my life that fall for shit. I don't trust Trump. I like him. He's funny. I think he raises morale. I think he's better than any politician I've ever seen in my life. Literally my whole entire life. No, but he did. No, no, he's great. He also is completely full of shit if, when he wants to be. So I don't care. It's almost like when a chick has that dude that she just keeps around when she's lonely because he's like good at banging and like, but, but not clingy because he's kind of like, like a narcissist. That's Trump. Where it's like, oh, this guy's like a rodeo rider. So he's like real exciting. Well, well so are you going to date him? No, he's always traveling. He's, you know, I think he's kind of retarded. I, I, Trump's not retarded, but it's just like, I, Trump, his last speech was terrible. It's like, we must, get, we must stop Corona. No more flights in from here. How about caravans in from Guatemala? Those are still, oh no, they don't have Corona. They don't have Corona at all. I mean, I mean, if we, if we, if we don't let in everybody from Guatemala, I mean, how, the, the, the only way to stop coronavirus is to keep flooding us with, with the brown immigrants. And then all the white ones from Europe, we stop all this travel because if not, we're all going to die of AIDS. I don't trust Trump. I just like him. Yeah, I like Trump. I, I, I always will. Because, because I, I know what he is. I know the animal that Trump is. So if my, if my 78-year-old mom was in Europe and wanted to come visit me and, and she wouldn't be allowed to because of Trump and fear? No. Let's give Corona to Mexico. Right, but that's not how it works. It's never, it's never the migrant flood that has Corona. It's Europe. And where my mom lives in New York. <laughs> it's like... That's why this whole thing, I like Trump, I trust Trump. Then you're a retard, Annie T. You trust an American politician in 2020. Yeah? Okay. You, you have trust, like a human connection. Like, like when you go into the DMV, do you trust them? There's, there's people I've been friends with for 10 years that I don't trust. I mean, I mostly trust, trust Ryan, but I think if I crossed him, he might shoot me in the head. I mean, I, I trust Ryan until I cross him financially, and then I wouldn't trust him. <laughs> I absolutely trust Trump. No one cares. That means you're stupid. He, he's, a, he's an American politician. His job, his job is to lie. So he's either bad at his job or he's lying. That is my read. Okay, I'm going to give you a new read. Trust in God, not man. I get it, Cody Agbear, but I got to do that. I got to hammer this way. Either you think he's bad at his job or, hang on, it could happen. Right, right. And am I wrong? It's like I trust Ryan's character and morality, but if I felt like he felt I crossed him, I would be like, just wait at the gate a second. I'll be right there. <laughs> okay. A politician's job is to lie. That's their job, not to tell the truth. So you either think he's bad at his job or, hang on, I already fucked up, or you don't, or he's a liar. And why would you trust a man that's bad at his job? See, that's the thing. Let God be true and every man a liar. Yes, every man is a liar, including myself on levels. I, tr my, I try desperately not to, and I don't have instincts to lie. But every man can lie. It's in our nature. It's why we're falling. Um, uh, what do we got here? Read the definition of politician. He's either bad at his job, which you should not trust a man who's bad at his job, or he's a liar. Well, I mean, I, my read is that it's like saying uh, this boxer isn't violent. I trust him. I don't know. I, that maybe not. Can't trust man only self a got right. You're full of shit. Let's do push-ups. 
We have hope for man, trust for God. Right, that's great. I love that. All politicians are cowards. Trump doesn't seem like a coward to me, but Trump is an outsider. He's not a politician. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the worst accountants can... And, and, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe. You're only hurting yourself. There's another option, IT? Okay, what's the other option? He's either bad at his job. He either is doing his job badly or he's a liar. What's your other option? Explain it with words. And don't use the letter Q. I, I, I trust Israel to be it right. I just Trump. They found the cure for coronavirus. It involves a man, a potato, and a man's anus. I love it. You guys are cheering me up. God, I was in such a bad mood earlier. Fuck. What if he was calling their bluff like, okay? I don't. Guys, right now in my state, you can't have an assembly of more than 250 people. If you want to play Bachelorette with Trump and Q in the deep state, be my guest. It's all a distraction, in my opinion. <laughs> but what if, what if, okay, hang on, hang on. So what if, what if Trump in the deep state, what if really what they want to do is they take our freedom only to give it back later, but with more freedom, and then Jared Kushner is really just a good guy, and his dad was set up, and the Alex Jones, and the fucking methamphetamine, I can't believe these are the people I'm around sometimes. Sometimes I, I, I miss the mental serenity of Hollywood occasionally. No, but see, this is, this is the game here. This is the, I see everything. The game is we give up our right to assembly. We give up our ability to travel to see family. And it doesn't stop migration at all. And the, the debt keeps continuing, and they're going to use this to springboard into a digital gold-backed currency. And we're going to love that it's gold-backed, so we're all going to fall for it. But it's digital, so it means it's even less real. Okay, this is great. How do I know this? Because there's a letter Q. <laughs> Anyone who reads the board realizes that this is a spiritual battle. We don't know this Q. We didn't know this before Q. All right, you're banned again. No, it's, it's, you did. It's, it's in the Bible. You didn't know it was a spiritual battle until you saw the cue board? Uh, don't forget your state is half. Right. My point is, my state is run by liberals. They're using this panic. They're encouraging the panic to lock us down. It isn't right wing. It isn't right wing, guys. I live in Washington State, Olympia, Seattle. We live in a state, there's a ton of right-wingers here, but our governor is a, ask Ryan, he's a leftist cuck. Our attorney general is a leftist cuck. They are now fanning the flames of Corona fear to get it so we don't have freedom of assembly anymore. And then let me guess, it's racist to say you, you, that, that you can't decide who your friends are. Dude, are you falling for the civil rights thing again? <laughs> like really? I have a dream today that everybody will have to do to let in anybody anywhere they are to, be, because if not, you're, you're, you're a bad person. But my cue, I mean, before the, before, before the message boards, I didn't know that it was spiritual. I thought that everything was material, but now I worship this cue. Uh, Cuck conservatives shipping away at our friend. Dude, no, but you're, we're doing it. It's us. True and true martial art. Yeah. Our martial law here is being encouraged and fanned by the left. I don't give a flying fuck about your Q narrative. I live in a liberal state in America. It's not this grand nationalist plan, guys. If anything, Trump was trying to ease the fears because he wa was watching it tank the economy. <laughs> it's like, and now he's a little, he's like, we must, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but it's just like, the, people are talking about how it's not media pushed. Are you out of your, like, ah, you know, whatever, whatever. I'll come up there and get married and invite 251 bear guys. That'd be awesome. That sucks. No, oh, you sad. Bye bye boomers. Corona is coming. It's not. No, it's because Washington state has willing players. Uh, really? Really? You're figuring it out? Okay, they just removed one of our constitutional rights. 
And you're thinking it's a good thing because you go to a, a message board around a letter. I mean, that's why I'm, I was a little sad today, guys. It's people like you. It's not the left. It's not Hollywood pedophiles. It's people that I thought got it. Where it's like, okay, so fanning the flames of irrational fears. No one can name a single victim anywhere in the world. And they're using it to take away your God-given rights. And you think it's a good thing because of a letter. Really? That, that's, that's how you think? Thank you, BB. You help people? Well, you guys are helping me tonight because the future is fine for us. I live in a self-inflicted quarantine. My passion is for you. Fact. I shouldn't get, let myself get angry, though. That's on me. I probably shouldn't have fired up the live stream, but it probably did help some people. Uh, Toes Anus is a victim. Putin's former chief economist says this is a financial attack like 9-11 because, right, that sounds way, way more true. Putin gets it. Fucking right, right, we should, yeah. Anything can be a catalyst to turn people to God, even like, yes. But if you've already turned to God and you fear nonsense and follow a letter, you're not actually turning to God. And I'm not questioning your faith. Kind of, though, a little. It's like, so this can help people turn to God, right? But if you currently claim to be turned to God, okay, and you fear nonsense and you follow a letter with your faith, like a biblical faith, not my God. Quarantine does affect people. All right, whatever. No, you live in a socialist state in America. America is not a socialist country. Don't give up on your fucking country. SPB it definitely helped a lot of us. Okay, good. America is not socialist. Dude, the cucks, dude, it's because you beat off to pornos. Please stop. Please stop beating off to pornos. It's so obvious that you're building up the fears so you can beat off. Dude, people are dying because of that. What's Q? I love it, rushing bear. I live in a self-quarantine. Good. Men of God don't fear the enemy of God. It, it, to the point where it's like, you are the enemy of God. Crow triple seven said they suspended the Sixth Amendment. Yes, yes. It's just, and the people rooting for it that claim to be freedom guys, that claim to be nationalists, that claim to be uh, conspiracy theorists. It's like, how do you just go? Great, let's give up more of our God-given rights to a fake state. Just, just nonsense to fight. Something that isn't real. This is, this is, that's you. BB, you got me so fucking fired up right now. Love the passion. Okay, I'm glad it's positive. Glad it's positive. BB, totally right. We love you. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll slaughter. There right, you yeah. I keep an eye for the Q movement, but I prefer, I just listen here for truth and great. I have no problem with people listening to Q and, the, and being a part of the Q movement, guys. If you can't understand what I'm trying to say, I don't know how else to explain it. Papa J. Bear has even put up an entire video of me describing Q that it could be great, it could be shit. The problem is, it's not God. It isn't, don't trust the plan of a letter. Don't trust the BB, no. Trust God. I'm infinitely more verifiable than a letter. Who's Q? I don't know. What is Q? It's a message board. That, but, but at least 35% have come, has come true. What about the rest? No, not at all. No, that was very crucial. But, but it's better than the 0% of the mainstream media. So I now pray to it. Okay? I don't have a plan for you. And I'm way more accurate than Q. I fucking make predictions years ahead of schedule. I have been forever. I'm more accurate than Q. Don't trust my plan. I don't have a fucking plan. Your, your streams are always positive, BB, unless the person watching is a gamma cuck addicted to pornos. Right. That's, that's so many people right now, guys. Like 99% of Owen's forecasts come true. Right. And Q is at about 30%. 30. 
No exaggeration. And people keep saying, trust the plan of someone that's more than half wrong. I am fine with it if you don't worship it as a goddamn God. Don't think goddamn. Dear Q, I'm, pr- I'm praying for your plan. It's a bunch of fucking hypocrites, man. Trust no one says trust the plan. Right. They're, yeah. Yeah, B is significantly more accurate than Q fact. And I'm telling you not to trust the B. When it comes to the plan, I don't have a plan. My plan is like, get some land, make babies. Their plans all involve massive power acquisition. You're not, yeah, I am batting a thousand percent. I, dude, I legitimately am. Q says, just wait. We're going to arrest Hillary. The, the arrests are coming. They steal the indictment. I did this way. This is 2016. Just, just hold your breath. It's, it's now 2020. And uh, they're trying to uh, instill martial law to stop a virus that doesn't exist uh, during the Olympics election year and a massive astrological event that happened last time. It, literally on, at 9-11-2001. Yeah, the plan is to keep crushing. Exactly. It's a good plan, BB. Yes, it, it, it's God's plan. It's not my plan. They're pornos. Has anyone ever actually seen the cue card? He's not a person. He's a team. And the team switches. It's a brand like AIDS. Exactly. Nothing ever came of that. Right. But if, if enough people hope and pray, it's fucking so stupid. But, oh, it's a morality build. Dude, no, it isn't. If you are scared of the coronavirus, it did not build your morality or your morale. If you're currently like, yes, I'm so glad the government has shut down my ability to hang out with my friends. Trust a plan. Cue for quarantine. Eh. What astrological event? I don't understand Astrology very much, but it's something about all these planets aligning. I don't give a fuck about it, but the people that clearly run the world do. The teams are switch hitters. Yes, they are. Kyneton, I hope you're having a great after nap evening. Q either put up or shuts up this year. Uh, it's been four years. Are you like that with your like girlfriend or boyfriend? Listen, he's been fucking the neighborhood and doing heroin for four years, but I still love him and pray to him and trust him. Okay, I was literally telling people Q and I was a sad months ago. It's, it doesn't matter. It may not be. Guys, there is an option that Q and I may be a secret group of people that are really, really benevolent. And they're trying to take down uh, the globalists. After seeing what happened with Corona, my odds are, are tanking on that. But it is possible. It's more likely, in my opinion, that it is not that. But the key to all of it is just don't fucking pray to a letter. He was literally Sean Hannity's producer. It, dude, it could be. You don't know. And you have to ask yourself, can I name a single person who's died of coronavirus? The answer I know is no. And this, we're talking to thousands of people in the entire world right now. Can you name people who have died from fear and despair or vaccines? Of course you can. Of course you can. Can you name people who have died of isolation, of being quarantined? Yes, you can. Okay, so now that we've established that that's all crazy, let's back up a little bit. Where are you getting your information from? A letter at a message board. Why do you trust it? Because it's hopeful and it tells us that it's a spiritual battle and it's right more than the mainstream media, okay? You know it's a spiritual battle because it's said in the Bible and it is a spiritual battle. It's a letter you don't, you can't verify who it is and message boards are not the uh, epitome of trust these days. Okay, the letter's wrong more than it's right, and most of the things that people were the most excited about the promises did not come true, which is a a direct sign of manipulation. It's like Corey Feldman kept telling everybody, I'm going to name names, I'm going to name names, I'm going to name names. Okay, Charlie Sheen is all he named, and he just denied it. I can't name a single person who is Q Derpsy Daisy. No. A letter and a completely anonymous message board. Yeah, it's a letter. Just say it out loud, guys. Say it out loud. It's a letter of the alphabet, and it's also a message board. So why do you trust it? Because it told us 
that this is a spiritual battle. Okay, you hear those sounds? That's real fear. Listen, you hear that? You hear that? You guys hear that shit? Those are the screams of monsters in the dark. WTF is that? That's a fresh kill. <laughs> so that's, that's real. That's a real threat. You hear that? That's the sound of monsters screaming in delight as they're ripping flesh right out there. <laughs> that's terrifying. But no, it isn't. I have a night scope. I have... I have an AR-15 just for the night. Isn't that for, it's intense? It's, oh, it's, oh, man, I mean, that sound. Is, I, hang on a second. That fucking so, so cute in the, in the deep state. Oh, God, all right. Anyway, oh, I'm so relaxed. I got to get myself scared again. All right, so there's Q in the deep state. And the fucking porn on the... The sound of the coyotes make you want to beat off because you get scared. Please just stop. Just stop. Um, big laughs. Yeah, it's like, it's like, what is the sound of that, coyotes? <sighs> All right, coyote. That's only terrifying to sound about. Dude, it's... I fantasized about beating them with, like, Bats and shit. I want to like show my, my son how to kill a monster, but it I, no necessary. It's fine. They're out there doing their thing. I have very strong fences. That's a close coyote. And dude, I my my farm has chickens, alpacas, baby goats. I'm responsible for all of it. I lose none of them. I have I have rabbits, and I have monsters going wee. And meanwhile, I'm in a I'm in a fucking message board message room where people are like, hey man. Wanna know what scares me? Coronavirus. But fortunately, there's a letter out there in a message board. And here I go. Oh. I don't care if that was spooky, then you're a faggot. Yeah, it is spooky. It's spooky. It's definitely spooky. But it's it's not like the stream keeps me off the porn that good. Tonight I wanted to drink, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't wanted to watch pornos in a really long time. Spiritual battle, not fighting flesh and blood. Owen, oh, much love, much many, yes. That's not from Q. They're howling, Corona! Uh, dude, there's monsters in my darkness. Every night, they scream. They try to intimidate my, my girls. But my girls know I build them strong fences and strong walls. They want to rip my girls apart. They want to rip them flesh and butt. But I follow God's law. The goats are protected. The coyotes are at bay. And then I fire up the old internet and people that I thought I respected are just like, the, the death toll, and I'm jerking off. <sighs> Coyotes won't fuck with you or your livestock, too much logos. Right. You rise above the fear. I will never laugh at work the closed eye spit hand, gotta get to work, hand, hand, hand. I will forever laugh at that closed eye spit hand, gotta get to work, be to whack it off. It's, the corona, I mean, it's going to spread 12 days of dormant. I'm almost done. I just. Hang on, dude. I'm seeing a mountain bear vid with the one. Yeah, yeah. It's just fear. Dude, it's so fucking dumb. Coyotes ripped my daughter and son-in-law's little chihuahua to death in the middle of a suburban, of suburb of a city. Dude, they, and they laugh. They laugh. As they're ripping apart the animals that you nourish and feed them with bottles and they feed your family, they, they scream in euphoria. Hi, love. Yeah. There's one over there, I think. And then there's another one, I think, over there. Well, they were yelling at each other. I'll go check on the goats and everything. None of the cats are in the garage? One of them might have just gotten whacked. Well, I'll, I'll go check. Okay. Are you sure none are in the garage? Yeah. Well, we, yeah, they wouldn't be all the way over there, though, would they? 
I'll, I'll, I'll look around for him. Yeah. One of our cats may have gotten whacked, but it's not my responsibility. It's, um, um, they do their own thing. They're, they're total psychopaths. They're Sigma cats. Hey man, or AR, right? right yeah. Coyotes make a crazy choir good for children. Dude, it's, it's so intense. Um, here's a reflection of your hate. Yes. Dude, it is. It's, I want to see Owen shoot some vermin. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. Hand grenades, yeah. The NBA just suspended the whole season over Corona. This is an economic... Yeah, of course. It's an epic economic weapon that, that many of you fell for. And I've, I've seen it. I've seen it with my own fucking eyes. It's disgusting. Let, the, let, let what happens, happens. But my guys are not going to act scared. My guys are not going to act scared. Um, whatever happened, dude, we could be laughing at this shit all the time. I had to do this. I had cruel world. You're in a timeout. Oh, for the pussies. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I, I'm glad I didn't time you out. Um, what was I talking about? Cruel world for the pussies. Nice. Um, it was a great stream. Thanks, BB. Anytime. Cats are a sacrifice. They'll take care of the pests and distract the cat. Yeah, totally. I, I have no emotional connection or responsibility of cats whatsoever. You know, how dare you? I don't, I, they're, they're literally just hunters. They're just psychopaths. I, I love them in a way, but they're just, one dies, you're like, probably, probably happier and dead. Um, it's a money grab by the grab. But, all right, I'll explain it and then I'm out. If you are scared, we can't all have a good time with it. Like my guys, as the world crumbles, the fake world and Logos rises out of it, which is what is, is happening until people bite the poison fucking pill. I shouldn't do it. I'm wrath. I, I'm aware of my demon. Um, we could just be mocking all of it and having a blast. You realize that, right? There was a tipping point of fear where I had to really, really fire up this live stream. It was, it was, uh, it was bothering me tremendously. It's like, allow, like, if you, and I know you motherfuckers don't have tons of stocks or anything. What are you scared of? Oh, my stocks. <sighs> anyway, what, what, this, I'll leave you with this image. What we could be doing right now, which we will start again tomorrow. I just had to get this off my chest is we just mock the pussies again. Weak words happen. Yeah, on streams like this, there's, it's riddled with weak words. Whales flailing, we are the plankton. Right, but the, the, without plankton, there's no whales. I don't know, that metaphor is a little odd, weird. But all right, if you're scared, it matters a ton. It's called consent. There is a spiritual battle, and you don't need to read Q to understand that. If you succumb to fear and all this sin, it, dude, it fucking matters. And I, I've seen that where I'm like, it, it's like saying this is a lion, you know? And the screens are like twisting up people's egos and shit. Is Lady Q on three here already? That's, that'd be really funny. <laughs> she just keeps crushing. I respect it. I have stocks, gun stocks. Good for you, Cody Bear. All right, I'm down 2.47 million. Whoa, be be the wizard slayer and fear elevator. Alleviator, thank you, alleviator. Because it matters, dude. It isn't just annoying. It's like when you're scared of nonsense, and this is my problem, I can't be mad at nonsense. It's all, it's all material, right? This is all bullshit. I'm in the fight with you, man. That's why, dude, I wanted to get fucking drunk tonight. I wanted to, like, disappear mentally. It's like, oh, thank you, Anchor Bear. I'm real excited for you to do the soundtrack to the doc. It's like, my demon isn't fear. I, I can't even fathom it. I think it's so gay. It's wrath. And it's still bad. Like, I'm not alleviating myself. Like, I'm like, these fucks. 
it's my temper and it's against cowardly men. And, it, and it's like, let's not do like all, we, all of us have to help each other. You have to help me just like I have to help you, you know, legend. I am a legend and you're legends too. And it's because the legend, like Jim Bob was talking about is like the compass. It's the thing that allows you to realign what I am is a legend. I'm a professional legend. I sit here day after day after day. And I like it. Way to talk through it. Yeah. We have to reevaluate what we assume. We have to, re, we, we have to regain our, our bearings. We're legends for each other. And it's like, which way is north? Which way is south? Which way is east? Which way, like, what is the fucking scam? And so I get mad at cars. I know, but see, any detachment from gratitude to God, I swear to God, I know that sounds corny, but it's true. Great willpower to not drink, Big Bear. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to. I usually, I usually am just crushing in, in a good vib- vibratory state where I don't. But today was like, ah, dude, I felt that of like how good I, it would taste so good. It would just be like, you know, just someone told me long ago. There's a calm before the storm. I know it's been coming for some time. You know, and I'd just be having a beer listening to Creedence Clearwater Revival. And it's all gone. No more cowards. But fuck that. That would be me. Uh, uh, I'm glad that we could bond more as a community helping each other. I'm glad that you guys helped me tonight. I, I Legitimately. You can't be 100% at all time. It's untruth. Right, but we, we, we try. We try to be 100% all the time, and we never will, will be 100% ever. It's in, our, it's in our nature to be flawed, but the, the way through it is like we're always trying to be 100%. We don't try to be 90. Oh, the best I can do is 90, 100. We'll never get there until we're dead. But it's like... Yeah, I want someone to say, um, NBA cancel season, missing child support payments, tax. All <laughs> right. It's all about the humor, baby. It's all about the humor. And by tomorrow, I'll, I, hold me accountable for this. Tomorrow, I'll be back. I'll be back as, as crushing. I don't like this side of me, really. Um, it doesn't help me or anybody else. So, and it's, and it's, I got to, um, your streams are my 12 step pro <laughs> always strive for the, always, always strive for a hundred, a hundred. You helped a lot of folks tonight, BB. I hope so. And I'm sla- I, we have to slaughter our icons. Q and Trump are our icons. Don't just put it on Hollywood. We have to do it to ourselves too. You know? It wasn't easy for me to slash all my icons in Hollywood and a lot of stuff. Like, they're all just men and letters. God only, or else we're, we're, you'll be scared of a beer virus. All right, I got to go. P.O. Box 727, Gig Harbor, Washington, 98335. Uh, unauthorized.tv, unbearablesmerchandise.com. Uh, yeah, I know I'm wearing lesbian Jewish glasses. It's fine. They have... An, they have like, if you go into Walmart, which is where I get glasses, um, yeah, and I'm, I know it, it isn't fun for me to slash at icons, but it's, it, you have to. It's cancer. I'm not, it trumps cancer. No! It, it's worship. Dude, at Walmart, the fucking glasses are either pedophile glasses or lesbian Jewish glasses. And then I found out they have, a, they have an entire monopoly on it. All right, guys. P.O. Box 727, Gig Harbor, Washington, 9335, unbearablesmerchandise.com, unauthorized.tv. And I'll see you guys 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. We'll do a funny stream about all this shit. I won't yell at you. Because I'm not helping anybody when I do that. I, you guys said I did. I don't know. All right. Much love. Be fruitful. Multiply. Don't be fruity and bull guy. And uh, unless you can name someone who's died of the coronavirus, if you're scared of it, I fucking hate you. Hate. <laughs>